In this video, I'll demonstrate how to create a do file in Stata. Do files are incredibly useful. They allow you to keep track of any commands you use in the process of preparing a data set and analyzing the data. You can also make notes to yourself. It's not uncommon to begin a project only having to set it aside for a while. Do files allow you to pick up where you left off, reproducing any variable manipulations or analyses you did before. They also allow others to view the process by which you did your analysis. If done correctly, someone should be able to pull up your do file and execute all of the commands in it. To create a do file, click on this little icon here. This begins a do file. Currently it's untitled, but we're going to leave it blank for now. You can minimize it. Now you can go about prepping your data and running your analysis. As you complete a command, you can copy it to your do file. Alternatively, you can run a number of commands and then copy multiple lines of command over at once. So you can see that I've already begun the prepping and analysis here. I brought up an initial data set. I codebooked a number of variables. Then I went about doing some analyses. I did a one-way ANOVA. I purposely did an error message trying to summarize a variable and I misspelled the variable so I got an error code and then I did it correctly and then I did a graph. You can see the commands over here on the left. The red one is my error. So what I'm going to do is actually copy these commands over into my do file. It's pretty easy to do this. You just click on the first one, hit shift, hold it down and click on the last one and it highlights all of the commands. Now I want to unclick the one in red because that was an error message. So I'm going to actually now click on the control key and deselect that one. Alternatively, hold down the control key, click on all of the commands you want to keep, then right click, copy, pull up your do file, right click and paste. And there you see my commands. Now I often find it very useful to include the first command which actually tells it where the data set you're using is located and which one you want to use. I'm just going to go ahead in here and insert some spaces. Now to make a note to yourself, you'd simply put an asterisk. And this tells Stata that the following text is not a command, it's simply a note. So you can say that this is an analysis for a Stata tutorial. Now alternatively, if I was going to include a lot of text here, and it was going to run beyond the edge of my do file editor here, I might want to include hard returns. And I want to be able to indicate to Stata that I'm going to be doing that. So what I would do is do a forward slash asterisk and then text return and then I can continue with my text until I'm finished. And then another asterisk and a forward slash. And now I can go back to writing commands. Now if I have a very long command, it may run longer than I wish, and it goes beyond an easy view of the do file editor. So for example, if I pull the do file editor in here, my command runs beyond the edge. So one thing I can do here is simply insert three forward slashes to indicate to Stata that the subsequent line is going to just be a continuation of the current line. So I can hit return, and it simply brings the end of that command down, but the command is still all one single command. Again, you can insert notes to yourself in the middle here, another note to self. It helps you keep track of what you're doing when, because you may have a do file that's hundreds of lines long. When you're done, simply go to File, Save As. We'll go to save this some particular place and hit save and close it down. Now what I can do then is when I want to pull up a do file, go ahead and open one. You can see the little open folder. Go find where that do file is located, open it up, and now I should be able to go ahead and execute it by clicking on this particular command here. And you can see that it will go through and actually run all of the things in the do file. So that's the do file. Hope that's useful to you.